Hey, just a quick video to help you with your centering and alignment. So I have several elements here that I just brought in from Design Space. It's text and images, all from Design Space. Um, I'm going to treat this as three individual lines. So you had three lines in your uh, sample. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all three of these. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to hit center vertically so they all line up. For this um, sample I'm also going to distribute horizontally which gives even spacing between them. So now that I have these lined up where I want them and you can move the individual let's say um, you can move the individual elements where you want them to be. I'm going to come up here to the top and select group so now these all move around as one group, okay? I'm gonna come down here to the next line and do the same thing. I'm gonna choose those three elements. I'm gonna um, select center vertically. Then I'm also going to distribute horizontally. And I'm going to choose group, like so. And then I can kind of move that out of the way. Same thing with the bottom one, select all. You can also use this button up here that says, oh, no you can't, not yet. You want to select those three elements. Then we're going to choose center vertically. You don't have to do distribute horizontally. Again, you can move them to wherever you want them to be. So now I have each individual line grouped and centered. Okay. So now what you want to do is because those these are all grouped together right now, you can choose select all. Then you can go up here and choose center horizontally and it will center them all. Oh, whoops. You know what I didn't do is I didn't group these. So come up and group there. Now everything is grouped each individual line. Select all, align, center horizontally. And there you have them all centered. Another thing you can do is you could go over here and grab a shape I'm going to get a square and make it into a rectangle. So how you turn a square into a rectangle is you click on the lock to unlock it and then you can drag it um, horizontally and vertically to make a rectangle. It's still selected so I want to go up to arrange and move to the back so I can see what is um, on top of there. And let's move that guy over to the side so you can actually see what's happening. Then I'm going to select all. I'm going to choose a line center horizontally and that centers everything into that um, rectangle. So you can also do it that way. I Then um, when you're ready to uh, cut it or print it you can get rid, you don't need that box anymore. <clears throat> um, and you can also um, if you need to for any reason come in and ungroup these. What you want to be careful of is that when you do ungroup them then each individual element is going to move around on its own. Um, so you can keep it grouped or ungrouped and then when you go to make it it's going to want to cut out the things that are different colors um, on different mats. So if you are doing something that you want to just be all the same um, color or you want them to stay in, stay in this formation, then you want to select all and attach. Now that's going to create just cut files, but then when you go over to make it, that's not what it's supposed to do. undo that. 